Hey, what's up? It's Nicola Milan and welcome back to another singing tutorial. Today we're going to be talking all things vocal tone, specifically how to make sure that your voice sounds nice and clear and resonant for when you're singing. So we're not going to go into things like pitch accuracy, which can obviously affect how good or bad you sing, uh, which is singing flat or sharp. I'll do another video on those specifically. In this one, we're going to talk about how to make sure your notes are the best sounding notes that you can create. They've got a little bit of strength behind them. They've got a bit of resonance behind them uh, and they're coming out nice and clear and crisp. So there are three main aspects that affect your vocal tone. Number one being what we call vocal placement. So this is where you're resonating your sound in your head cavity. So if you're resonating very forward into the nasal cavity, your sound is going to be quite nasal and shrill. Um, if your soft palate is very lowered, like it's lowered and it's not raised up high enough, that's going to, to again affect your resonance and how the sound comes out. It'll probably sound a bit flat and a bit uh, a lot darker than if you raise up and create a bit more space in your mouth. So that's number one, vocal placement. The second factor is what we call airflow. So this is all about uh, how relaxed you are when you're singing. If your tongue, which is a really big muscle that actually sits inside your head and actually comes all the way down here, it takes up a lot of room in your head. Uh, and if your tongue is tight because it's a big muscle, then that can really affect all of these muscles in your neck and you constrict them, which means that you can't release your air and your breath and you can't use it effectively, which means you have poor airflow. You've got a lot of tension here and that restricts you from moving up and down freely through your registers. So that's airflow. And then the third factor is muscle strength, which basically comes down to how often you're singing. It's like going to the gym. If you go once a week, you're really going to struggle to to build muscle and have any improvement because you've got such a long time in between each session. But if you go regularly, like three times a week, you're going to see some progress. It's the exact same thing with your singing because you are a muscular based instrument. And, you know, to be honest, there are some other factors that affect your vocal tone. You know, whether you're breathing properly, if you're sick and things like that, um, if you've got a lot of phlegm going on and mucus, you know, all these sorts of things can affect your vocal tone. But for today, I'm going to take you through a couple of like quite fun, but simple exercises that are going to help you to start working through some of these these things and improve your vocal tone. Now I will say this video is specifically for beginner singers. So intermediates, if you're watching this, I mean, you may get a little bit out of it and then you can do the fun exercise if you like, but chances are you probably already know this stuff. So go and watch one of my jazz tutorials and like work on your repertoire or your improvisation or something like that. But if you are a beginner and you're struggling to get a decent vocal tone, keep watching. Okay, this is a participation video. So if you need to go and grab a drink of water first, uh, I would go and do that because it really does help uh, making sure that your body is nice and hydrated. Um, I would always start off by doing a few stretches and things like that, rolling the shoulders. I'm not going to take you through a full warm up routine today because we're going to focus on these exercises. So um, if you need to do those things, pause the video, then come back. So what we're going to do is I want you to to basically quieten your mind because we're really going to start concentrating on your breath at this stage. This really helps you to focus in what's going on inside your instrument as you sing. So let's start by just taking a nice deep breath in. And when you take this breath in, close your eyes, really feel like you're drawing the breath from your feet and that will help you to tap into your diaphragm. And then as you take the breath in, feel the air sort of passing through your nostrils. Really feel that breath. So let's try this now. So close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. Feel the air passing through the nostrils and then breathe out again. Let's do that one more time. So deep breath in. Feel as though you're drawing up from your feet and then exhale. Okay, now we're going to apply this 
to singing. So we're going to start with a hum and then we're going to transition to a moo. So it's essentially going to sound like this and I'm starting on an A below middle C. So ladies, this is your start note, gents, you're an octave below. So it's going to sound like this. Pretty simple. Try that again. And as we do this, I want you to concentrate on taking that big breath in, feeling the air expand into your lungs, feeling it come through the nostrils and fill up into some space in your head. And then when, we, when we're going through our hum, quite often when you hum, your soft palate is a little bit lowered. But I want you to see if you can act as if you've kind of got a big ball or something in your mouth that's kind of helping you to create a little bit more space. So you feel a little bit rounder. And that, like my nostrils flare out <laughs> when I do this exercise, but that will actually help you to sort of start visualizing, creating this space, which helps to improve your vocal tone. So we go. And when you transition to the moo, you don't want to, you want to keep that space. See how my eyes are bright? <laughs> I look stupid. But that eyes bright kind of factor actually kind of helps you to start visualizing raising the soft palate. So let's try this together. Deep breath in. And hum. Very good. And let's go up. Deep breath in. Concentrate on, see how I'm not using very much vibrato. I'm just keeping my tone quite flat um, and straight, sorry. And then mm, I'm really just concentrating on the space and feeling the breath. Let's move up. this particular exercise you are kind of resonating a little bit through the nose that's okay because we are using this moo sound and it does kind of tend to push the sound forward a little bit at the start but it's all about space and feeling the breath let's do a couple more and then I'm going to take you through another exercise okay coming back down Get to draw the breath from your feet. We'll finish off with a lower one. Very good. Okay, second exercise. This is all about breathing and creating space in the mouth. And by the way, while you're doing this, we're not pushing the air out. We're not going really, really loud. And that's all about helping to slowly build our muscle strength as well. So we're, we're aiming for good positive airflow to get these notes because we're nice and relaxed. We're aiming for good resonance because we're creating the space in our mouth. And we're aiming for muscle strength because we are singing not too hard, we're not pushing ourselves, but we're singing and we can do this exercise regularly. So you're working on all three of those aspects that I informed you at the start of the video that affect vocal tone. So this one's gonna take you to the next level. All right, here we go. It's gonna sound like this. Deep breath in. And then halfway through this exercise, I'll probably change it to this. 
to try and help you keep some of that space so uh, I will let you know when we're changing to the ma but for now let's do the mm moo okay and concentrate on moo raising the soft palate keeping the eyes bright lots of space in the mouth imagine you're kind of working around having a ball in your mouth big deep breath in relax don't sing too loud start note for gents start note for ladies here you go moving up hit those top notes deep breath in a bit lower for the gents for this one. Keep the sound just the tone just flat not like this <laughs> vibrato. I really want you to try and get rid of all of your air by the time you're finished. Coming down. your throat at the back. Keep it all smooth and legato. If you haven't done much singing you may be getting a little bit lightheaded at this point and that's only because you're concentrating on this breathing. You're restricting your breathing somewhat and breathing in a a very uh, specific way which when you first start doing it can be a little bit challenging but just work through it make sure you're really breathing into that diaphragm and just imagine breathing that air in from your feet here you go sorry let me try that again for the gents I may not be able to keep up with you here Mm -hmm. this is getting to the bottom of my range Mm -hmm. let's do one more just for the guys here we go Those are just a couple of really simple, easy exercises that you can work on regularly to improve your vocal tone. Because those exercises, as simple as they are, they work on those three aspects that you need to work on to improve your vocal tone. So you've got vocal placement, where you're resonating your sound, vocal tension and airflow, so making sure you're nice and relaxed and you're letting your breath support your notes, and muscle strength, which is all about singing regularly. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos like this, and I also have some free vocal warm-ups for you as well because I'm so nice. Uh, (laughs) Uh, I digress. Those are over on my, um, my website. I will leave a link for you below. I believe there's one on the, um, the link of my channel as well. You can grab the free vocal warm-ups. You get four, free vocal warm-ups that I take you through. You can watch and sing along with the videos. And then I've given you the downloadable sing-along tracks so you can practice those at your own time. Uh, There are some really simple ones in there. So if you need to, you can kind of practice this sort of thing with those vocal warm-ups and you can put them in your car or play them wherever, you know, very convenient. 
Um, thanks for watching and I will see you again next time. If you would like to learn more with me, join me in my six week singing academy, an intensive singing training program for beginner singers. The link is in the description.